If you were to describe your style in a couple words, what would it be? A mix of punk and bougie bitch. Hi, I'm Naja, and in today's video, I'm going to be introducing a new series to my channel, and it is What People Are Wearing in Montreal. I was inspired to make this series because of the Unknown Vlogs. He does a set of videos, and it is based on what people are wearing in the UK. Walking the streets, I find daily style inspo, and I thought it would be a beautiful thing to come here on YouTube and share it with you. Before I start the video off by showing you what I'm wearing for today, I did want to let you in on who my number one style inspo is, and I did mention her in my past video as a beauty queen but she's also a fashion queen and that is my mom. She was the first person who introduced me to fashion. Her main source of clothing actually was thrifting because she did grow up poor. She definitely instilled a lot of values in me which focused on shopping sustainably and ethically because clothing was not something that was easily accessible to her when she was growing up. As for my main source of clothing, I would say that it comes from thrift stores. I will say as I work towards my dreams and my goals, I am manifesting a larger income into my life and I know for a fact that once I'm able to have that I'm going to shift away from thrifting I do shop on some Instagram stores sometimes but it does take me quite a long time to get those pieces because I have to save up before I can purchase them and when I do get them I care about them a lot but I'm not gonna lie to you, I care about one-of-a-kind thrifted pieces a lot more than these clothing items that I can easily find on Instagram, not necessarily easily purchase on Instagram. I rarely thrift any shoes just because the cutest shoes are always in the smallest sizes and I have a seven and a half and whenever I find a shoe that I'm obsessed with, it's like a five and a half. I recently started thrifting more accessories but for the most part, I am gifted a lot of my necklaces. I think it's time for me to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. It is pretty saucy. The weather is decent. I know that at one point midday, I'm gonna take this off, but for right now, it's a look. This is my outfit for day number one. I'm feeling it. It's giving me a very much hot girl summer, very much who is she, where is she going, okay? And let me tell you a little bit about the details of my outfit. So I thrifted these pants from the Nines, and I thrifted this jacket from Eva B, thrifted this scarf from Flow Market, and this bag from Flow Market as well. And of course, I'm wearing my Nike Shocks, which are my favorite pair of sneakers because I was scavenging. Is that the right word? Scavenging. I was looking like a rat through these streets trying to find these shoes and I'm so blessed that they have come into my life. Okay y'all, let's go see what these streets are saying. Let's go see what these fashion icons are saying. And you know, who knows? Maybe this will just make my shopping addiction worse. Was this a good series to implement on my channel? It doesn't matter. It's gonna be fly as fuck. Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to swear nowadays. Okay, let's go. How would you describe your style? Homeless meets grandma meets a uh, street. <laughs> And where do you find majority of your clothes? Uh, Value Village. Yeah, it's ethical. I mean, it's kind of not anymore because it's reselling and there's a lot of resale culture. But if you find the good things, uh, just don't consume more. <laughs> Buy what's already made. What inspired you to pick out this outfit today? I felt flowery. It's summertime. I feel good. Amazing. <laughs> and who would you say your style of inspo is? I don't really have a style inspo, I just, I shop mostly in thrift stores. 
I made the necklace myself. Where would you say your main source of clothing comes from? H&M. H&M or Zara, but mostly H&M. I don't think like, I, I like the style, but I, I will often like, um, how can I say that, street style? I prefer that style. Or so, like, I like the clear colors, like blue, clear blue or clear pink. I also like uh, listen to K-pop, and I really like their style, so that's, that's where I think my inspiration. I feel like I describe my style as anything that I can find in thrift stores. I know that's like pretty cliche and silly, but honestly, I just love sustainable living. But I also like kind of dreamy and punk vibes together. So like girly, but then also throwing in things like fishnets just to add some contrast to the look. Personally, I think that fashion is the most easy way to talk about or show who you are other than verbal communication so to me it's just really cool to show my personality without having to talk to someone and say hey this is what I'm into and I think thrift stores give you that option. I'm from Ontario so honestly being in Montreal right now it's been really nice because I feel like everyone on the streets are really inspiring just to look at everyone's outfits and like take inspiration from that. I made these ones actually. <laughs> oh you did? Do you have an earring company? No I don't I'm a photographer but I like to do other things like jewelry making and stuff on the side. What inspired your outfit today? The weather mostly. It was gonna be cold but I wanted to be cute so I wore tights under my skirts because I'm trying to not go with tights. I'm trying to go legs. And who would you say your style inspiration is? Um, I follow a lot of um, style from like abroad so especially from japan i like uh things that i've seen like in like downtown japan like tokyo and harajuku and things like that so that's usually where i get my most inspo from and uh otherwise i just think i like things that are, are cute but like dark <laughs> where does majority of your clothing come from i either thrift or i buy stuff online and if you were to describe your style in a couple words what would it be cute and slightly gothic i guess who would you say your style inspiration is? I think Gigi Addits. I think. Would you say you like to mix style and comfort, or you're more comfort over style? Mix the two, because I like to be comfortable, but with style. like a gender neutral style and being comfy and uh, yeah, I got this outfit mainly from uh, like vintage stores. So was the first question who inspires me? Yeah. Like um, so I grew up watching this show called The Nanny and Fran, the main character, um, had amazing outfits the whole entire time and I could really relate to her through her curls and how loud she is and that's pretty much how I am. And also the biggest question I ask myself is who, if you saw your ex in the streets, would you be comfortable with that? Who would you say your style icon is? It would be Foxy Brown, Brigitte Bardot, and yeah, these are the two, the two main ones. Where do you find your main source of clothing? Um, pretty much thrift stores. Thrift stores for the outfits and the shoes online also. And what do you like most about shopping at a thrift store? Mm, the fact that you can pretty much make anything out of anything. So you can pick up a dress and it becomes a skirt or a um, top that becomes a skirt as well. I just like my skirt short mm -hmm. so you can make a lot of things. My style icon, I would say I'm a music girl so I'm very bad at fashion. I don't really... But I would say a style icon? Uh, I don't have any. <laughs> Where does your main source of clothing come from? Uh, the thrift shop, but um, you asked the question and I think thrift shopping is great, but stop going there and taking all the good pieces and selling it on Depop because poor people should have good clothes too, you know what I mean? And I love thrifting, um, but I've been thrifting less. I think a couple years back thrifting was great and since um, it just got super popular, I feel like now it's really hard to find pieces, so I do shop in stores now, but um, I used to only shop in thrift shops.
how would you describe your style? Pattern clash, yes, that is me, 100%. I don't know about me, just <laughs> anything. Who would you say your style inspo is? Anyone on Drag Race? Honestly, yeah, Bimini. Where would you say your main source of clothing comes from? Traditional, like, stores. I unfortunately participate a lot in like fast fashion and I know it's not the best and I'm trying to reduce it. Like these pants are second hand and this jacket is repurposed. My favorite tote bag is ripped. How would you describe your style? Uh, I would say it's like a minimalist um, street style. It's a mix between both. I just dress as I feel during the day, you know. I love, um, I love like uh, classic and I love also street style, so I like, I like to mix both together. And I also like a uh, leather jacket, rock star thing, you know, so mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Where is your favorite place to shop? Oh, uh, I love Editorial. And I also love all the vintage tour. So there's a lot of uh, on Saint Laurent and um, yeah. I mix like a lot of things, like even Zara and yeah, Zara, Editorial, vintage store, all that together. If you were to categorize your style, what would you say it is? Freak. <laughs> I went for the Matrix, and then I went to Bono. <laughs> <laughs> no comfort. All style. Absolutely. I'm being like chained down. <laughs> and who would you say your style inspiration is? Spooky Kid. An artist from the UK, I believe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show me love, and I will see you 